Three game sevens on Saturday. Let's make our picks. I am Cinder Sports' Noah Kozlov. He, of course, Eddie Johnson, 17-year NBA veteran, former NBA Sixth Man of the Year, Suns TV analyst, HoopsHype.com analyst. Let's go in order, Eddie. Indiana at home against the Hawks. I like Atlanta. Who do you have? I like the Hawks as well. Uh, even though the Pacers really showed how good they are when they're together uh, in game six, you know, David West, I thought, played splendidly off, you know, when they needed him. I mean, big down the stretch, big jump shot, then on the drive over a tough defender uh, in Paul Millsap. But they had three guys score over 20 in Stevenson and George and David West. Their bench did not have much production at all. Roy Hibbert is just on a vacation that we have no idea where he is. And I just can't see those three guys backing that up with 20 points again. So I think the Hawks can go in there and win for the third time in Indiana. All right, OKC at home against Memphis. And for the simple fact that I cannot see Durant and Westbrook losing at home in a game seven in the first round of the playoffs, I'm going with the Thunder. Yeah, I'm going with the Thunder as well, and, and more so by default. Uh, I think Mike Conley is not going to be 100%. Uh, you know, so when you, when you pull that hamstring, I mean, it, it gets worse for the first couple of days, and he couldn't go in and, and continue last night. So I worry there for them. And, and then, you know, you, you got to get something. I mean, Tayshaun Prince really hasn't given anything, and he's not defending. And I wonder if they're going to throw Tony Allen in the lineup to start the game. They, they need to get something going defensively in Game 7. Uh, but I really like the way Westbrook played. Got them off to a good start, and they got a huge victory on the road. All right, and God forbid someone set a screen for Kevin Durant to get him free in Game 7. I'll give you first crack at Clippers-Warriors Game 7. Who do you like? Uh, you know, I, I like the Clippers based on home. Uh, I, I think they're going to be energized by their crowd. Uh, but I'm not counting Golden State out. I mean, this is a tough series to predict because of, of obviously, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. If they catch fire, then the Warriors will win. They, they will win. Now, they're dealing with some injuries, obviously. bogut has been out, and then now O'Neal injured. Uh, they need some size at times to deal with Jordan. But if they're knocking down shots, they'll get game seven there, no doubt about it. But I have to have to pick anybody. I have to go with the Clippers. I think Chris Paul's not going to have back-to-back poor games unless he's injured as well, and we don't know about it. Uh, but I think they're going to be too much at home. And I don't mind agreeing with you in three straight games just because I respect you. But I just can't believe that we're talking about an impact to the Warriors because of Jermaine O'Neal in 2014. It's, it's crazy that we're still talking well, about him as default, an impact player. Right? By yeah. def- it's by default. That's all it is. But Maurice Fates, I thought, came in and played well. Yeah, he certainly, he's he certainly capable. did. He's capable. So maybe, you know, maybe that's something that Mark Jackson says, hmm, maybe I'm going to have to try this again. Uh, because offensively, I think he's better than O'Neal right now. Obviously, he's more active. So, you know, look, they're going to need someone to have a game on the road for them other than those two. Now, Curry and Thompson have to play well. But they're going to need somebody to have a huge game. Is it Eagle Dollar? Uh, I don't know. But somebody's going to have to step up. All right, Eddie. Good talking to you. Enjoy the games. My pleasure. <laughs>